that science is there's a friend there's like an expression mm -hmm. find that scientists are conservative in the opposite way that a risk manager is conservative oh. so, what does that mean like a risk manager from an insurance company mm -hmm. if there's a small chance that your house is going to burn down they want to know about it and they want to you know factor that in yeah. but with if you're a if you're a, a a professor or something you're writing a research paper and you have to think about it um if you publish a paper that has in, incorrect information, mm -hmm. that ruins your career. Yes. But if you uh, don't publish an inform if you don't publish a paper that would have correct information, but you didn't publish it, yes. nothing happens. I mean, you know, maybe you didn't advance your career as much as you could have, but it doesn't hurt your career. So they have an incentive to only publish things that they're really sure about. We usually say two sigma or ninety five percent sure of something. So when they're going to publish, let's say, sea level rise, mm -hmm. how much sea level rise should we experience by the end of the century? They're going to tell you it's two or three feet, mm -hmm. which is, by the way, a mind-boggling large yeah. amount of sea yeah. level rise. Yeah. But even so, that's they're 95% sure of that, right? Yes, yes. Wouldn't you like to know what the sea level rise might be with a 50% probability? Absolutely. Or even a 20% probability? Wouldn't you like to know that? Well, yeah. those numbers are like... 10 feet, mm. 10 feet of sea level rise. And this wipes out most major coastal cities, right? Yeah. Island nations, mm -hmm. uh, the bottom third of Florida no longer on the map, yeah. that kind of thing, right? Yeah. So yet they don't have an incentive to publish that because they're not 95% sure of that. Sure, yes.